Hey everybody, my name is Mitch Milam. I am the Board Creative. I was working with uh, using the open plane on my M1 and it requires a you to create a, a small measuring device, a little stick that has measurement on it so you can measure the top of the laser head so you can put that into the, the height adjustment for, for the thickness. And I got to me thinking tonight, like, well, can I just create a ruler using the same kind of techniques that they use? And the answer basically is yes, so let's go do that. So I'm going to create a line, and the size of the line at the, at the beginning doesn't matter, uh, but I need it to be straight, so I'm holding the shift key down. But everything else is very specific, so I want it to be 10 uh, millimeters high, and I want it positioned specifically at an even number, and we're just going to choose 40 at 40. And the reason is because when you start getting into... Um, measurements this small it makes it really hard to actually grab a hold of it as you'll see like if you look at my my cursor is not even over the top of the line and it's already selected it and we're working with millimeter literally distances apart so this will come into play here so I've got one line vertical line created at 10 millimeters in height and what I'm gonna do is duplicate this using the array function so click on array and grid array and I'm gonna make one column sorry one row of 10 columns now we can only do 10 iterations of anything which is fine for this purpose and I want it spaced apart one millimeter so this is going to draw a line every millimeter and as you can see here we end up with this now this is kind of boring and doesn't really give us anything but we've got 10 vertical lines that are 10 tall but well, what I'd like to do is I would like for my fifth line the fifth millimeter so we're going to stay at one is going to be higher now again remember I told you that when you get the this smaller distance you're gonna to have to kind of make allowances for uh, where you select so as you can see my cursor is three away from the line that's actually highlighted so I'm gonna just go with whatever's highlighted and then that's gonna be it so I'm gonna change this to be 15 tall and it's gonna go 15 from where it is at the top downward which I do not want what I want is for it to be 35 so it points up so now we have one two three four five is up high and then we have six seven eight nine ten the tenth one which is the centimeter mark since there's ten millimeters in a centimeter I want it to be twice as tall so I would like that to be 20 and again it's gonna point down I just changed this to be 20 whoops about 30 30 and now we have a highlight marker for the 5 and a highlight for the 10. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group these. Very Also very important. Group these and I'm going to back out for a little bit. And again, I'm going to do another grid array. And I want one row. And let's make 10 columns. How about that? Okay, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Okay. So we've got basically 10 centimeters is what this is. So we have the fives marked and the tens marked. And let's go put this up. So my thickness, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all slayers because I don't want the, 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 the material that's on the platform to be in the way while we're drawing here. So this defaults to being scored, which is fine. And we'll, we'll set the settings here in just a little bit. But it's, if you ever look at this, whenever it does a, vert, a line of just a, a straight line, it has a thickness of zero, which can only be scored. You cannot engrave it, evidently. So what I'm going to do is go add some text. And I'm going to just call this one. I'm going to make it 10 points high. And you're wondering, where the heck is it? Well, it's way over on the other side here. So I'm going to take that up there. I'll put that right above that. Then I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and I'm going to duplicate it. So control C, control V. This will be two. Again, this is the problem with some of these things. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, come on. That is not what I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna undo that. I'm just gonna copy this one. Copy that. There we go. Move that over here. Again, everything is very specific, so when you get this low, so what you're seeing me do is just what you're going to run into, too. Okay. 
Okay, so those are all done. Let me scroll back out a bit. Then what I'm going to do is select all of these. <clears throat> and I'm going to align the top. And then I'm going to just position them over the top of each one of those roughly. <clears throat> and one of the things I'm going to do while I'm, while I'm at it is, what I'm going to do is let's change this to engrave. And then I'm going to also move them to an, a different layer for engrave. So I like my engrave to be green. And my other layer, my blue layer, that is a score layer. And this is just so we can tell what's what whenever we get rid of it. So, okay. So zoom in and I, I'm going to, I'll tell you what, let me zoom back out again. I need to make these a little bit off those lines. Just using the cursor keys to move them up a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position each one over the top of the, uh, the mark there by just putting the, the center carrot on over the center of the mark, which it will do carefully like that and I'm just going to center all these so they look halfway decent okay zoom back out and then I'm going to one more time because I'm pretty sure I moved some of these and I'm just going to align the tops one more time just to make sure they're there okay so now we have a ruler and this is 10 centimeters and then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rectangle around it and I'm just going to just put a box like this and but one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make it chop off the very bottom of that so that I can um, uh, make sure that the lines come all the way up to the edge of the piece and I'm going to move that to the red layer which I'm going to rename cut. Day is just not a good day for typing. There we go. Okay, so basically I have millimeters and I have my settings and we have that. I'm going to go ahead and save that as Okay, so now I'm going to go select, I have some black walnut plywood loaded. It is on the raised bed. I'm going to zoom out a bit and then reposition it to where it can be over there. As you can see, I'm just reusing some stuff I was making Christmas presents out of. Here, there. Okay, so cut layer, I have a plywood cut this is just a setting that came off of the material sheet that was uh, sent with the with the plywood it's a this is extra plywood and I'm, so I'm just using their uh, the settings that they had as part of the package okay so there is that so let me process this and uh, I'll uh, come back when we're done Okay, so we're in the workshop and I have actually taken the uh, a time to put a layer of a shellac on this just to make it uh, you know, a little bit shinier protector. And as you can see, if you zoom in close there, if our camera will work correctly, you can see that our lines match up exactly with that of a ruler that I have that is also a metric. Put it on top. You can see everything lines up exactly as it's supposed to. So that's how accurate the X1 is. Alrighty. Thanks a lot, people. Have a good night. Thanks.